Hey, today is a big day for us at Forex. We launch a new product, which will be our first Apex plugin outside of the well-known Forex plugin framework. The plugin is called File Upload and Image Editor and can be used in any Apex application starting with version 5.1 upwards. It is actually two products in one. A, a file uploader, like Drop Zone, with many enhanced features like client-side compression, streaming, and more. Uh, and B, it's a client-side image editor where you can resize, crop, convert, annotate images, apply filters, and, and, and whatnot. We designed this plugin very careful and paid a lot of attention to details and ease of use. When going through the sample application, you can see a wealth of declarative settings and dynamic actions. Also, there are no external dependencies, so you can use this plugin even in the most secured and restricted setups. For example, apexhistorical.com would be a place like that. To get an overview and more information about the file upload and image editor plugin, please go to forex.at slash file upload image editor. As this is a commercial plugin, our promise to you is ongoing support, maintenance, and continued development for many years to come. For you, it's a safe bet to use this plugin. No worries, it will work after the next upgrade. We guarantee you that it will. A big shout goes out to the Foex team. Thank you for your hard work and making this plugin a reality. Now, let me show you how the, how the plugin looks and behaves. So we got our, um, our demo application here. Uh, simply pick one of those. Uh, there's our file upload thing, so we can drag images onto that. Whoop, whoop. Uh, and for images, the editing is enabled. So now we can, for example, um, change angle on the image. We could apply filters, change color settings, or do some, some funny markup. Like that, that's a smiley face, right? That's good. So when clicking done, you can see the file is being re-uploaded and that's it, fine. It even works fine on tablets and phones. You can take a picture or upload an existing one from your library and edit it just like on a desktop browser. Crop it, put on some markup, and after a while you're done. Let us know what you think of it. We love to get your feedback and ideas and rest assured there will be many other plugins and tools to be published in the near future.